What's up, everybody? It's me, King Alpha. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, just so you guys know, I am streaming uh, games like Auto Chess. Probably going to be streaming other games on Streamcraft. It's going to be in my description below, but I'm still not going to, you know, stray away from YouTube. I'm still going to be doing videos on YouTube, but just probably not as much streaming. Uh, regardless, let's just get into the main part of the video. Uh, if you do want to follow me on Streamcraft and use the link below, I would really appreciate it. It'll help me out in the long run. Um, and also help you out. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. So, I got Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great is one of my favorite heroes um, by far just compared to history. Not really like in the game. Um, in the game, I haven't really had... Or, or had the chance to really use him much but honestly he seems like a great hero i'm gonna go over his skills first and then i'm gonna go over his talents and what you should really focus on and etc etc <clears throat> i will say this for for the main bit of the video it is very challenging to get alexander the great because of the fact that you can only get him through the wheel of fortune if you don't get him with the wheel of fortune or you don't roll a lot of times you actually won't be able to get alexander at all and um it can take you a while in order to even expertise him because of the fact that you know most of the times you get a lot of his sculptures through that wheel of fortune regardless alexander the great he's uh an other slash world conqueror obviously he was back in the um in your macedonian era and all that in regards to what I love about him is that he kind of connects with like Leonidas, you know, heroes like that, Leonidas, uh, Julius Caesar, that type of era. I always loved that type of history era, and um, you know, honestly, it's just great to even have this guy. <laughs> Let's go over his first skill, which is really interesting and really, really good. Um, is Shield of the King Alexander the Great puts up a powerful shield, damaging factor of a thousand two hundred, which is really good. For four seconds and at the same time puts up a second smaller shield for the nearby uh, nearby friendly army with the lowest percentage of troops remaining uh, damage factor of up to 600 for two seconds so basically um, which is it's a really cool animation I've seen it um, <clears throat> that you you put up a shield of a, up to a thousand two hundred obviously at level five at level one it's very very low and it's kind of almost useless but at level two, it's almost the same as if you're uh, having a shield of, uh, what is it, Charles Martel, which is really great. Um, but obviously, Martel does a different type of damage bonus where um, Alexander is more of that support type where he also shields someone else that's an ally that has a lower health, uh, lower percentage of troops obviously remaining. Let's go into his second skill. His second skill is lead the charge. Passive skill, will, which is while Ex Alexander's troops are on the map, they are immune to all damage re reduction effects. Furthermore, all regular attacks have a 10% chance to deal additional damage, damage factor of 800, this is at level one, um, to the target and reduce target healing effects by 10% for five seconds. Um, so obviously at level 5 you can get up to 1700 uh, direct damage effect and up to 30% reduction healing effect reduction so first off you do get the immune to all like reduction effects so basically someone reducing your speed um, reducing your damage or anything like that it, this is a passive skill there's no chance well it's a te what is it it's a 10% chance for the dealing additional damage and stuff but um in regards to that, you're immune to all da reduction, uh, damage reduction effects. So, I, oh, so that doesn't mean march speed. Sorry, kind of screwed that up. <laughs> but it doesn't mean march speed. So basically, uh, for example, if Richard, uh, Richard the first, basically comes and, you know, does the his little what is it called, over here where it does damage reduction. I don't believe that actually affects you because of of Alexander's passive skill. Um, Let's go into his third skill. Uh, Frontline Commander increases infantry's, infantry units march speed by 10% and attack by 10% while troops are on the map. Obviously, at level 5, they both go to 30, which is amazing. It's really good. And um, honestly, I just love it. It's, you know, obviously, he's an infantry versatility and attack commander, which, you know, it's going to be a bit interesting to mix up his talent trees with, in a way. Anyways, going into his last skill, attack is increased by 20% when the shield is down. When his shield is activated, the bonus changes to defense by 10%. So basically, when the shield is up, 
Um, I mean, when the shield is down, you get basically an attack when at level 5, it gives up to 40%. That is huge. That is huge bonuses, especially if you have really good stats, um, you know, good technology and everything, good uh, alliance tech. This could be really good. But then also going into defense, once your shield is up, you, you get 30% extra defense. That's going to be crazy combined with um, your shield over here that protects you from damage. So... You're good. You almost could not be taking damage if you actually compare it, um, you know, combine them with someone like Charles Martel or Richard. It's, he might just be really insane just with that. Going into his expertise skill, um, this is without expertise, which is basically the uh, this bit over here, the first skill. So expertise immediately puts up a shield which can absorb a large amount of damage, uh, of amount of damage which is 1,200 for four seconds. At the same time, Alexander puts up a second shield, um, a second smaller shield for the nearby army with the lowest percentage of training of troops remaining. <laughs> but lastly, this is the, the bit that's different, increases the damage taken by nearby enemies up to three targets by 30% for 40 seconds. So basically, if you have someone like Richard and um, Alexander together, or even Sun Tzu and Alexander, and you have Alexander expertise, the up to three targets are gonna be actually taking 30% extra damage for four seconds. It's gonna be in you could be dishing out insane damage, especially if you have this guy expertise. Obviously, I know it's very hard to expertise legendaries, especially someone that's in a wheel of fortune you can't even get from a chest. So um yeah, this is just basically showing you how powerful someone could be if, if they even spend money and they can actually get this guy expertise. Going into my guy over here with uh, the talent trees. I really do wish that they would do something where you can have multiple talent trees without having to spend talent resets. Um, let's hope in the future they do add that because that's just a bit of a pain. Um, honestly, I only have Alexander at level 30. I've been focusing on my other commanders that I need to actually level up. Um, because right now I'm only using Alexander as my secondary commander due to the fact that uh, first off, he's level 30, and then number two is that he only has one skill that's maxed out, and the rest are just level ones. So, you know, I'm just basically using someone like Sun Tzu, for example, first, and then him because of the fact that Sun Tzu is higher level, has better skills leveled out. Um, going into this, obviously, you can see I'm going into the infantry tree over here. I definitely want to, you definitely want to max out the infantry tree first. Especially if you can get him as your first main commander and actually have really good skills on him. You f if you focus your gold sculptures, let's say you're VIP 10 and you just want to focus your gold sculptures into Alexander and expertising him, that's actually not a bad idea if you've already, you know, focused on someone else, expertised them or something. It was like for me was the fact that I lost about five months of playing. So that's five months worth of, uh, what is it called? Gold sculptures that I just missed out, and all the events that I missed out that I could have expertised a lot of my uh, probably legendary heroes like Charles or even Richard. Right now, Richard's even getting closer to, to <laughs> maxing out. But regardless, so you want to focus uh, the infantry tree first, then you can scroll down over here. As you can see, the attack tree is going to be pretty interesting. But I know I'm level, like level 56 over on my Charles, and um, I don't have as many skills maxed out as I would want. So what I would say is you kind of want to focus and look at and see which skills you want for um, your, you know, your little talents over here. However, I will tell you this, try and avoid these uh, little talents that says increase normal attack damage, but then decreases active skill damage by one um, percent, which this might actually not matter because you're not really doing any skill damage for uh, Alexander because of the fact that it's just a shield it's not anything where you're doing extra damage or anything until you get your expertise once you get your expertise Alexander this might take into effect and might actually uh, hurt you in the long run um, over here as well increases all damage dealt by 2% but also increases all damage taken by 1% I never like these little debuffs that can actually in a way hurt your troops um, so you definitely want to just focus on going over here Going this way, either going this way, 
or you just come over here. Counterattack damage is really good if you combine um, Alexander with Charles. Uh, you can also do reduce all damage taken. So you definitely want to get these four over here first. And then in regards to these, when it comes down to these uh, two coming this way. <laughs> so during battles, increases all damage dealt by 5%, well, 0.5% every 10 seconds. Maximum up to 10%. So this is really good because this increases your damage and Alexander is a very uh, high damage hero basically once you get his skills leveled up and everything. But regardless, even with his skills level 1, you can actually still be dishing out a lot of damage. So you definitely want to get Effortless. I will say you definitely want to unlock Effortless if you go down this way, let's say boom, you unlock all this. You definitely should come down this way and unlock that. Coming over here, when the armies led by this command to defeat an army, excluding garrisons, belonging to another governor, attack is increased by 2% for the next 10 seconds. Um, this effect will only be removed once troops have left the battle. This is kind of good. Um, I would possibly just focus this next after you you know go down this way because of the fact that you know if you can defeat another army, if anything, you do get a bonus in attack, which again you're already stacking on attack damage which is insane um coming over to versatility um i haven't really looked at the versatility type of uh what is it called talent tree over here just because of the fact that it's all a mix of everything and um i wouldn't even to be fair with you guys i wouldn't even try and go down this way because of the fact that versatility is a mix of gathering attacking a city um barbarians it's not really worth it so you definitely want to max out infantry then focus on your attack over here come this way make sure you max out these four first especially this max out these four and then come down this way also i just want to say this if you can also just put one talent into this and you do get 0.5 percent infantry um, defense which is still pretty good for your heroes because that's an extra stat. It's any stats that you can add on to your heroes in a fight is just going to be great for them. So, Anyways guys, I hope this video did help out with um, getting, you know, understanding Alexander. What you should do with Alexander for your talents if you're going to use him. Even if you want to use him at 1111 level, like 1111 levels. Um, you know, that's fine. I honestly use Alexander just because of the fact that, yeah, I do have his first skill at level 5, so it just, you know, it all equals out. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> I would love to get his frontline commander up, but uh, it is what it is. Before I end the video, I just wanted to say the uh, people that you should actually focus on, com you know, matching him up with is obviously infantry heroes because he is an infantry hero himself and he does have this little infantry buff over here as well. So, you know, match him with uh, Charles, Richard, Sun Tzu, then you come down over here, Aluji, you can match him up with Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar is a mixed leadership commander, so, you know, Alexander can be great with Julius Caesar as well if you do have him expertise. Um, Scipio, Frederick, and obviously Constantine and Hannibal because these two, obviously Constantine is a uh, you know a legendary hero. I mean legendary, an infantry hero, and also Hannibal is a mix of units as well. So if you have your Alexander as your second commander, let's say you have an expertise uh, Hannibal, it still might be really good because of the fact that you know Hannibal does have like mixed. Um, what is it the mixed bonus effects and all that so up to you guys see who you really want to match them up with if you like like who's your favorite uh legendary hero let me know in the comment section below because uh i'm just interested i want to know who's just your favorite legendary i think my favorite legendary by far is richard and alexander i love constantine but i haven't even been able to use him um but obviously charles is one of my favorites as well because of the fact that you know these guys have been using them ever since uh, the second server I ever started. As you can see, I am 5432. So hopefully, when I get this leveled up, maybe it could go 5433 or 5532 or 5442, etc. You know? <laughs> so, anyways, I will see you guys later. Peace out. Let me know what you think about the video, and I hope this has helped you out. Deuces.